everyone, it's Elise Muffaby, and this is just another charm update. I'm not sure what charm update it is, but I'll have it in the title. Um, a lot of these are inspired by other people, but, um, I couldn't, I don't really have time to go back and see who I actually got them from, but I'll have the descriptions below, but, um, I do remember one per, uh, one person specifically, and... She made this Totoro heart, and her name is Kawaii Flora Clay, I believe. Um, so I went ahead and made one. It looks pretty much just like hers, and it's so cute. I thought it was such a cute idea, so I had to make it. Um, I made this little Frankenstein from Paper Pastels, obviously. So cute. I love it. Um, I just made this little, like, grass with a... Rest in peace, um, tombstone thingy. I don't know. I felt like doing Halloween stuff. Uh, this little ghost from Paper Pastels, too. That's how I got the style idea. Oh, uh, let's see. Do I have any more Halloween stuff? And just this little coffin that says rest in peace. I'll probably add a face to this or something. None of these are glazed yet, by the way. I didn't really have time. The strawberry teapot. This isn't my own original idea either. I don't remember who I got this from. This Mama Go Madongo. I just realized I didn't add the nose or mouth yet, but it's super cute. I made these two Hello Kitty macaroons or macarons, however you see them. They're so cute. I love them. I especially love this one. I think I'm going to get this. Um, these are inspired by squishies, by the way. I think I'm actually going to get this squishy and keep it, because it's so cute. Um, I made this curatory pastry bag, and I just remembered earlier who I got this from, but I think she's popular on YouTube. You can probably find her. I'm not sure. I'll have her link in the description when I remember or find it. And then I made these for a charm bracelet. These cherries. This banana. This pear, ah, this orange, and this blueberry. I love this face. <laughs> um, I made this Eeyore donut. Which that's not my own idea either. Ah, this strawberry bento from Cute Tan Popo. I think it's from Cute Tan Popo. Um, Tuxedo Sam from Crafty Olivia, I believe. This one's really cute, even though the bow is kind of stained. Um, the Sanix character from Cutie and Popo 2, I believe. Uh, Panda Apple. This new, um, artist painter's palette. And I painted, um, I painted this white. So it looks a lot cleaner than before. It looked really bad. Um, I believe this is from Jellyfish Charms, or QT and Popo, one of them. It's, or Funky Pink Gal, I'm not sure. One of them, I'm sorry. Um, it's a bunny marshmallow in a s'more. This was actually my own idea, Tacne and Cat. At least I've never seen anyone else make it, but... A uh, Real Akuma Pancake, the butter. Um... I'm not sure who I got this from either, but it's Mianko Cat, um, the little tail in a Hershey Kiss, and a little Rappers' Kiss. So cute. That was such a great idea. I don't remember who that was, though. And then this was my own idea, too. A uh, little Volpex. The back looks kind of messed up right here, but other than that, this is probably one of my favorite charms so far. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this charm update, and over here I'm just starting a little deco project. Um, I might enter this in Paper Pastels contest. just has like pink icing dripping down with like a little ribbon around it, and it's where I keep all my canes. And I'm gonna decorate the top with pink silicone and like some Krilakuma heads and stuff, and just random cabochons. But yeah, that is my charm update. I hope you guys enjoyed, and be looking forward to more tutorials. I'm going to have some free time coming up, so I'll be making more tutorials for you guys, and request any tutorials that you want. I'll be happy to make them for you guys. Uh, so yeah, I'll talk to you later. Bye.